So in this video, I'm going to show you a very advanced and slightly unusual way of sharpening and adding um, contrast and pop to your images, all with one button click or two button clicks. So I'm going to go to image menu and I'm going to go to wavelet decompose that option there, which most people probably doesn't even know exists or what it is. Click on that and it's going to split it all into this folder. So we've got a folder now called decomposition. It's done this automatically. And as you can see inside that, it's put a, put an image called residual and then scale five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to turn off our background layer just to, um, just for the moment. So what we've got here is our full image now has been split out into these layers and combined together, they, they create the original image or almost if we turn it on and off compared to the original background image, we get it's slightly sharper overall in the decomposition, but it's, you know, pretty much like for like the original image. So let's turn these other layers off and see what we've got before I dive in and show you how you can easily use this because it will take me a minute to explain, but once I've explained, it will take you seconds to use it every time you want to use it. So the residual layer, think of this as just like most of your color tones and really, really broad details that are kind of represented in color, like you've squinted your eyes, I think. And if I click on scale five, which actually is these, these layers here, scale five to one are on linear light um, set to 50%. That's just standard. So you can see it's added some detail on. And as we go and turn them on, it adds more finer detail then more finer detail. And it's almost like we're putting it in focus every time we turn the scale on. And if we do it the other way around and we start from one, you can see it looks very strange because we're now basically five is the biggest, broadest detail that we're adding on top of our colors. And then it gets increasingly smaller towards one. So one represents only the finest detail from the original image. So you can see we've got things like hair texture coming through, eyelashes, you know, little lines around the teeth and things like that. But it's only when we start adding the other level or the other scales in, so the other levels of texture, we can get to something that now represents the full image. So how does this help us? Well, these start off at 50% opacity. So what happens if we take one of these and we lower the opacity to say zero. If you watch the screen, see all of a sudden something changes, something gets really soft and a little bit smooth, but not over the entire image. And that's because it's only affecting that particular layer of texture detail. Think of it almost like audio frequencies. So like five, five and four is like your, or five is like your bass frequency, the low end. And then you've got your mid range in between and then scale one is like your um, high end, you know, all the, the really high frequencies. It's the same sort of principle, but in, um, but visually. So with this in mind, we can now do two things. We can sharpen selectively. Let's say for example, I want to sharpen the image, but I only want to sharpen the very fine details. We don't have to go into a separate sharpen menu within Photopea. We just click on scale one and we increase the opacity of the layer. So if I drag it straight to 100, you can see it gets super crispy very quickly, all on those high fine details, and that's too much for this image. But maybe something like 60 to 70 is nice. Okay. I mean, at the same time, if your image is over sharp in those tiny areas, you can lower the opacity to actually knock some of that off and selectively blur just that high frequency of detail. So it's pretty interesting. So I'm going to leave that on that. And if we go down more towards the lower scales, like the five, well, the ones at the bottom here, five and four, if we increase the opacity on those, it's going to do an effect similar to um, clarity um, in Photoshop or in um, a, um, camera raw filter in Photo P as well now. So if we increase that, you can see it increased the contrast and the saturation, but not, not over the high detail. So not over the high detail. So what made it really crispy and sharp on scale one, doing the same increase on scale five has just given an overall broader sense of depth and contrast. And we can obviously play around with all the ones in between. And if we think there's an area that's too harsh, we can take the opacity into the negative a little bit. And you see what I mean? You can have lots of fun with this. And obviously you can, um, you can selectively mask bits on and bits off and things like that. So it's very, um, very interesting. And obviously, it's taken me quite a while to explain that, 
But just to show you again how easy the process is once you know what you do, it's very simple. You open your document, you go image, wavelet decompose, and then you choose one of the layers and you just adjust the opacity up or down, depending on if you want to sharpen or um, soften that particular layer.